Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Friday, another Ferlici Friday. I am Amy Ferlici and we are gonna have some fun today on a, I don't, it, it is beautiful, a beautiful like wintry, snowy first day of December. Oh my gosh, I got my holiday sweater on. It's funny because I've kind of been accumulating like some fun holiday wear, I guess, and I'm like, my goal is to try to wear like and you know, I don't have that many, so there's gonna be many repeats here, but I wanna wear like holiday themed clothing the whole month of December, at least leading up till Christmas. So I'm gonna see if I can do it. But I'm, so here December 1st, I got it done. I got my stripy, beautiful holiday sweater on. Very excited about that. Um, we are gonna play with, what do we, oh, I have it right here in front of me too. The festive and fun stamp set. Such a cute stamp set. You guys look at the, the fun little imagery here. Like we've got the little rhinoceros pulling his sleigh with presents on it. Um, what is that, like a little moose with, like it looks like a little, like maybe Thanksgiving or holiday turkey. And then the giraffe who is decorating the Christmas tree and he's tall enough to be able to put the star, right? Right up on top of that Christmas tree. We have some fun sentiments like a little something for you with lots of love from me. Happy Christmas wishes and may your season be one that's festive and fun. So such a cute stamp set. We're going to have lots and lots of fun playing with this. I will tell you... Um, it really, I think to make it super cute, you need to do some coloring. Um, so I did do that. I was, hi Monica, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, <clears throat> it's funny because I've had the stamp set for a little while and I would grab it and be like, mm, not ready to do the coloring. And then I'd put it aside and grab it again and like, ah, oh, still not feeling the coloring. And so this week I was feeling the coloring. So I'm gonna, like I said, we're gonna have lots of fun with this cute stamp set, festive and fun, perfect for the first day of December, right? So yes, and then what else do we have going on? Oh yes, last chance lists have been um, produced, I guess, listed, last chance products. Some things have already sold out, like the super uber popular, um, what is it, the All About Autumn Designer Series paper. So hopefully you got that while you could. It's gone, can't get it any longer. I think I gave away my last pack not too long ago. Um, but there are still lots and lots of things that are available. So I'm gonna show, this is like the super teeny weeny little list of all the things that are retiring basically from our holiday mini catalog. Catalog. This is kind of not so easy on the eyes, right, to be able to look at this list. I have been posting this link, though. Um, so if you pull it up on your computer, you can make it bigger and be able to kind of follow through because it's in page number order, um, wherever the page numbers are. I can't even like read it right now. Um, but anyway, you can follow, you know, if you're flipping through your catalog, you can follow through. But most, like tons and tons of stuff is retiring. So just kind of keep that in mind. Here, just to give you an example, this is the list of things that are carrying over. So what is that, like mm, two half, thir half a page, two thirds of a page versus like a pretty much a full, is it a full? Yeah, a full two pages that are um, retiring. So keep that in mind. The big thing is things that are retiring are on sale. So check that out. I think the easiest way is to go to stampinup.com um, when you click on shop and I think there's a menu button and um, I think it's like Oh, I wish I would have written it down, but it's really, it's in there. Um, if it's like happening now or something like that, and you can see all the last chance products and that's the best way to do it because you click on the last chance products and you see a picture of everything that is available still that hasn't sold out. And then you can also see if it's discounted, like if you can get a like a deal on it too. So check that out. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Make sure you use the host code when you shop though online. Um, I've been trying to give the links for shopping online at my Stampin' Up! website. And then also, if you don't get to my website, if you just go to regularstampinup.com, if you use that host code, then that gets you um, in line to get all the Facebook Live freebies that I will be sharing with you um, a little bit later. I got like an extra special deal for December too. So if you are so inclined, which you know I truly appreciate your online orders, love for you to order through me and use that host code. And like I said, I've got some special, special, extra, extra, 
extra special deals for the month of December that I'll tell you about in just a little while, okay? But if you have any questions on the Last Chance products, please let me know. Um, I'd love to you know, help you however I can um, to get what you would like before it's gone, 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 right? So I think we have until like January 3rd is like the last official day of being able to order through the holiday mini catalog. Um, <clears throat> I would advise not waiting that long though, because like I said, things are starting to sell out, um, including a couple of things that I um, used on some of the projects that we're gonna um, make in just a little while on Facebook Live. I was kind of bummed. I did them, um, I don't know, not too long ago. Hi, Philomena. And then I happened to look on our inventory status report and I was like, oh, well, that paper's gone already. Those dots are gone already, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway, because maybe you have those things or you can always find a substitute too if you don't have those things, so. It's just the way it goes these days. So, all right, I think we are gonna do, trying to check things out, yes. Um, let's do our first drawing, okay? So I know it's been a little bit of a struggle with trying to um, get posts to crafting groups that you're a part of. I don't think it's happened yet. I've been trying to kind of, um, you know, like right here, if you're on Facebook Live, if you click on the share button, normally, um, you like if you click share right away, well, what do I wanna say? You're watching Facebook Live right now. If you click on the share button, scroll down to the bottom because that's where you can pick a group rather than um, posting like sharing to your personal profile. You wanna scroll down to the bottom. And, and like I said, I've been trying to make posts of this also um, <clears throat> so that you can see kind of what I, what I see, like when I pull it up on my phone, um, how you actually post to a group. So instead of just hitting share, and I think it's share now, um, do I have that? I do have it written down. Hold on. I got my little, <laughs> so I tried to, yeah. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> and I was showing you guys this the other day, I think. Um, yeah. So when you click on share on this Facebook, um, live, you'll see a button right there that says share. Now I think that's what you guys are usually clicking on. Scroll down to the bottom and you want to do the share to, and you want to click on the group icon right there. Then you find the group. So here, when I click on that, this is kind of a list of a groups that I'm a part of. Um, and so you'll pick whichever group and click share. You can actually, um, before you click share, just write a little message saying, hey, check check out Facebook Live with Amy Ferlici. Lots and lots of fun. Um, she always has great ideas, right? Whatever you want to say um, about that. But that's how you get your name in the drawing is if you share to a crafting group that you're a part of. Um, I What I'm not saying to do is like kind of, um, individual groups, I guess I maybe should have um, mentioned that, like demonstrator, like one demonstrator run group, like this group, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. I'm not saying post to those groups because that's like that demonstrator's kind of um, business Facebook page, right? But there are lots of like big groups that you might be a part of. Like I'm a part of something called Stampin' Up and Showing Off that's got super cute projects in it. Um, there's also another one called Stampin' Up Hobby Demonstrators. That's another group I'm a part of. Those are the top two that I can think of. But any of those groups, those big groups that have, you know, lots and lots of people that are a part of that aren't like one demonstrator run type of group. Because um, I don't want to step on anybody's toes, you know, don't have you like sharing to somebody else's group of Facebook you know kind of business page but if it's like a big group that there are just lots of people sharing and posting that's kind of where I'm trying to um, <clears throat> encourage you to post this Facebook live to those groups so hi Charlene hello and welcome so what I'm going to do starting with our next Facebook Live, which is going to be in two weeks from now, um, if you share the video the way you normally have just to your um, regular uh, personal profile, you're going to get one entry in the drawing. If you guys figure out how to post to a crafting group that you're a part of, you're going to get five entries into the drawing, okay? And then also if you sign up for my email list, you get an entry into the drawing. Um, so I actually have a couple of people that signed up for my email list recently. 
Um, so those names are in here because um, last time I was saying you basically get an entry if you share to a crafting group, which we haven't had anybody do that yet. Reach out to me if you have any questions or problems. Um, you can even take like a screenshot and send it to me or something, you know, um, email me, whatever. I can help you figure out how to do it. Um, Cause that's what I'm hoping is um, that you guys can help me spread the word about the fun that we have here on our Facebook lives. Cause I reach a few people, but I think I could reach so many more and have fun with so many more people and kind of brighten people's days as well, right? Because I think especially like, I don't know, as the snow flies, right? We're going to be inside more and needing that uplifting um, fun that we have right here, right? So, um, oh, the other way too is if you share my class to go cat post, um, your name will go in the drawing, which I'm working on my next class to go. I'll have that um, ready. It'll probably be early next week. I'll be posting about that too. So keep an eye out for that. Got some fun, fun projects planned. Um, but okay, so in the meantime, we are drawing four. These are the festive pearls. There are some uh, cherry cobbler pearls underneath there and then there's some gold and some silver and I think they were like a pale green like soft succulent um, is the other color that's in there but you can't really yeah you can't even see the red ones right you can see kind of the silver and the gold and the pale green right but the red ones are in there too so okay here we go tossing the names around gonna do our drawing for the festive pearls and let's see we have one lucky winner is oh, miss jan bank all right congratulations jan you are the winner of the festive pearls so i will get those sent out to you and thank you for signing up for my email list um, and I always include the link too. So in the details above this Facebook Live video is the link to um, sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. I always say that's my like kind of most most used form of communication and trying to get information out to you guys so you know what's going on in Stampin' Up! land and in our world, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio world as well, okay? So let's see. <clears throat> toss those down there so on our next facebook live right two weeks from today so today is the first so that's going to be the 15th december 15th will be our next facebook live if you share this video regular way you get one entry if you share this video to a crafting group you're a part of you get five entries into the drawing if you share the class to go kit post personally you get one entry if you share the class to go kit post to a group that you're a part of you also get five entries into the drawing or if you sign up for my email list you get an entry into the drawing to win this is the chair not cherry cobbler the calypso coral braided linen trim so i don't have that open yet but it's kind of a um it's like a flatter instead of like round it's a little bit flatter linen trim but it's beautiful especially in this calypso coral that fun it's like a beautiful springy color too so we can always wish right wish and hope for spring you know it'll be here someday right <laughs> okay all right in the meantime we're gonna have lots of fun this whole winter long playing with lots of cute stuff too um okay so we did that yep we talked about that okay oh all right, so I want to show you guys, we um, had our group meeting, um, I guess it was like, oh, well, I guess it was right before Thanksgiving. So was that just last? Yeah, that was just last week, right? Oh my gosh, things a little bit crazy, right? Like time-wise, yeah. Because <laughs> I already flipped my camera, or my camera, I already flipped my um, calendar to December, so I can't even like look over at the wall and be like, yeah, that was... Yeah, it was just last week, right? Thanksgiving was? Yeah, it was, it was. So yeah, so anyway, our meeting was Tuesday, right before Thanksgiving. We made some super cute jumbo tags. So you guys have to like see, like look at these. Okay, I'll show you guys each of them individually too. And so they featured the Sending Cheer stamp set and the dies, which I know the dies are on big sale. I think they're like 40% discounted. And then they also featured a bunch of fun ribbons. So I think that's a great way to kind of add a little um festivity to your packaging what i think is super cool about these tags is since they're so big you could buy like just simple um like plain like kind of craft color or white or black or whatever color gift bags and then just hang this tag 
on the bag and it totally decorates the bag for you. So kind of a fun little gift idea, gift giving, like if you wanna give someone a little set of gift bags and gift tags, right, you could do that. Or if you just wanna put your gift in a simple gift bag and add a super cute gift tag, that's another idea for you too. So this is the first one that we made, called, it's the sending cheer and it's got the little to and from right on it there. And again, we've got some of the um, white iridescent ribbon. This is some of the red ribbon that's part of real red and the burlap ribbon and then the black and white gingham ribbon. So that's one of them. Here's another. So here's again the ribbon. Um, <clears throat> this is the what is it real red and burlap ribbon that's like a combo ribbon pack and then the cute little gingerbread man with another little sending cheer and some fun little hearts in there also. Next, we have a little tag that says, not little, these are actually like really good size. I think it's like three by six and a half or six and a quarter. Um, so good size tags. So we've got a fun little present um, one there that says for you on it. Again, with some more black and white um, gingham ribbon and then the iridescent ribbon. And then lastly, some more. I love, look at all the fun ribbon, right? So the real red and burlap and then the black and white gingham with the little stockings that say no peeking. So cute, right? And then we ran some more ribbon across the top there so we could hang our stockings from it. So fun, fun, fun uh, gift tags that we had as our make and takes again. Oops, I was going to show because I love them all together. They keep like flying around, right? But Right, so cute, right? <laughs> Love those cute little gift tags. So I'm planning, I'm hoping to find some time to make some more of these because I think they're really, really cute. And I wanna put them on my gift packages this year for Christmas. So then I also love to recognize my top five sellers each month. So this was a card that I made and it's actually a swap card that I received from Laura Milligan, who is one of my favorite demonstrators. She's just a total sweetheart. I think um, my family and I met her, she and her husband um, and her daughters on our very first um, incentive trip. It was an East Western Caribbean cruise and she they were kind of right behind us in line as we were getting on to the ship and she was just the nicest nicest gal again my first trip so I didn't feel like I knew that many people so she just really made an impression on me and I love her card too so I cased this card again from Laura Milligan sent this to my top five sellers um, in well so what we're in well we're December it was November so um, <laughs> in November I recognized the prior month so I recognized my top sellers from October sending them this card as a congratulations. If they sold over $600, they make it into what's called the $600 club. And I love to um, give a fun little gift as kind of a congratulations, you made it into the $600 club. So I gave everyone that did that a bolt of the balmy blue sparkly glittery ribbon that's from the Berry Cute Suite. Um, and then also we have a mystery project that we make each month. So this is my mystery project. Basically what I do is I um, give a list of all the dimensions um, and then we actually put the card together um, at the meeting. So people will come and bring all their supplies, not knowing like what I'm gonna end up with, but they grab whatever paper they want, ribbon that they want, stamp set and so on. I just kind of give some guidance um, and then we put it together. So it's so fun to see what everybody else kind of comes up with as their mystery project. But I love that fold there too. So this is just a piece of, it's four and a quarter by five and a half, so a quarter of a sheet of cardstock and then we kind of layered from there. And then it's a great way to show both sides. I love this idea too, right? Both sides of the designer series paper. And love, again, the sending cheer dies. Um, also, again, on sale, super cute. And then we die cut some of the designer series paper because I love, I love, love, love that little kind of buffalo check print, um, especially for a little stocking like that, right? Then we also do swapping at our group meeting. So if you guys are ever interested, um, <clears throat> if you're a part of my team already, we'd love to have you create swap cards. Even if you're long distance or you can't make it to the meeting, if you put your swap cards together, mail them to me. I swap them around with everybody at the meeting and then I mail them back to you. So you could receive all of these beautiful cards, right? So this was a swap card that Teresa Hinchman made with, of course, this this, oh, just so gorgeous, all about autumn designer series paper. 
And I love this one too. This one's from Sunday Ostrander. And I'm realizing like, oh, I really would like to case this one. Such beautiful kind of soft tones there. What does her sentiment say? Yes, the tidings of comfort and joy. And I love how she stamped just a little sprig behind there too. I forget to do that. And I love that look also. This is a super cute one too by Charlene Mogg, who is watching with us right now. This is the Christmas is better together with the berry cute sweet. We were kind of talking about that at the meeting that those are like such a favorite of everyone, right? Um, I think, you know, they kind of came out and maybe they caught some people's eye, but not everybody's. And then as you've seen more projects made with them, it's like, oh my gosh, those bears are super duper cute. Here's another fun card. This one was from Elsie Lynch. Isn't that beautiful? That um, I can't remember the name of that designer series paper, but it's super duper cool, right? And then love her truck there too, because you see lots of red trucks, but how about like a bronzy colored truck? Isn't that so beautiful? Like perfect for fall, right? Love that, Elsie. And then this one is from Nancy Gulick. She said she had so much fun. Look at this like hair keeps sticking to my lip gloss. Um, you really wanted to know that too, didn't you, right? <laughs> uh, but she said she had so much fun with these dies. And then this is that um, One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series paper um, that has all the beautiful scenes. So she made a bunch of different cards with different designer series paper with it kind of peeking through, you know, like you're out in the woods. And then that's a fun thing also. You can see she included the designer series, well, the back, there's the back of the designer series paper. And then she actually put another, I think that is the, well, it's the rest of this. So she kind of flipped it over so you could see both sides, right? So this side, which is a continuation there, and then the back side there also. And then her beautiful sentiment, the sending warmth your way, right? Love that one. And then lastly, this one is from Sharon Greening. And I love kind of all the, it's like a patchwork quilt, right? All the different layers on there too. And her sentiment, oh, it's a birthday card, right? It says happy birthday. So beautiful swaps. We do an amazing job, clearly. The ladies that are a part of our uh, Inkspired Stampers team are beautiful stampers. Um, so again, if you have any interest in getting the starter kit, we will have another deal coming up during celebration, which will start the beginning of January. If you can't wait that long, the deal is always great anyway, though. You pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is waived. So there's never a bad time to get the starter kit. Sometimes they just add a little bit more to the starter kit deal. I'll tell you more about the celebration starter kit deal um, as we get a little bit closer to that time. But <clears throat> Like I said, I would love for you to be a part of our Inkspired Stampers team. You can participate in swaps. You can get make and takes. I will mail these to you. If you're long distance, you can still get the make and takes. Um, you could be recognized as one of our top sellers and get one of my top five seller cards. Maybe you make it into the $600 club, which seems means you sell more than $600 in a month and then you get a free embellishment from me plus additional commission from Stampin' Up. Um, so, so many great benefits. Love our team too. We have a separate Inkspired Stampers Facebook group that you could be a part of. We do lots of sharing, inspiration, um, lots of camaraderie um, on that group. So love for you to be a part of that. So think about it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to answer any questions that you might have about it. And hello, Miss Debbie. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so where did they go? I think I piled stuff up on top of them. I've gotten some cute cards from um, other friends and demonstrators. So this was a card um, that Beth Martin, who is a part of my team, dropped off the other day um, with something else. That I'm trying to remember, might have been payment for her make and takes. Um, anyway, so this was a cute little card. I had to share this with you guys, right? This swinging by to say hi with the little monkeys. So, so cute, right? And then she kind of decorated. I love this idea too, putting the designer series paper on the inside of the card, right? So the cute little monkeys with little hearts, right? And then I got a Christmas card that I want to share with you guys. This one is from Maria Warren, who is also one of my team members in Inkspired Stamper. Um, this is a beautiful, right? So um, the poinsettia dies. And then do you guys remember that beautiful, um, the kind of set of three pearls? These are 
products that you can't get any longer, um, but such a beautiful card. So thank you so much, Miss Maria. And then um, she's got this sentiment that says, sending you blessings, peace, and magic this Christmas season. Merry Christmas, Maria. So isn't that beautiful? So thank you, Maria. I appreciate your Christmas card. If you guys want to know my address, okay, 501 Woodworth, so W-O-O-D-W-O-R-T-H Avenue, and that's in Alma, A-L-M-A, Michigan, 48801. I would love to share any cards that you send to me. I will love to share them right here on our Facebook um, Facebook Live, right? So something to think about. Um, okay, <clears throat> let's see. I think we are ready to do our next drawing, okay? So let's see. Um, if you're new to me, I want to make sure you guys know how Facebook Live freebies work, right? So if you order online through me using the host code that I will share with you in just a little bit right here on our Facebook Live, it's always in the details above this Facebook Live video after I get it posted and edited or edited and posted, I guess I should say. Um, it's also, also, excuse me, also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Um, so if you do that, if you order through me, spend at least $50, your name right now is in the drawing. Yep, I got my names in there for the Sparkling Snowflakes stamp set, right? You also automatically receive as a thank you from me, the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So that's kind of flapping open there. We've got these two beautiful. So that was like the fun fold, right? Um, these two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, you automatically get both of these cards. You also get to pick from either the free embellishment for November. Hi, Patty. Thanks for joining us. This is the free embellishment for November. These were the um, Faceted Gems Trio Pack or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for December, which features, this is my project for December, um, feature lots of masculine themed cards. We can never have enough masculine themed cards, right? So we've got the sentiment says, every day with you is another adventure. <laughs> and then kind of a fun fold right there too. So you could learn how to make this card plus lots of other 15 other masculine projects in the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, right? Right? So with your $50 order, you can pick from the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment as well. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you though, for December, the December free embellishment, and imagine that there are gold um, blooming pearls right there too, but these are the blooming pearls. I'll give you a full pack, I promise, um, but you could pick from either that free embellishment in December or the PDF tutorial with your um, $50 or more order, right? Um, okay, so let's see. Let's do our drawing. Who is the lucky winner of the Sparkling Snowflakes stamp set? Okay. Man, there's, I like, I have to just get this. <laughs> These little hairs are bugging me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. One lucky winner of the Sparkling Snowflakes stamp set is... Miss Shirley Mordike. It's funny, I didn't put Shirley's last name on there. I'm like, Shirley? Oh yeah, Shirley Mordike, yes. <laughs> so Shirley, congratulations. You are the winner of the Sparkling Snowflake stamp set. So I will get that stamp set sent out to you, Miss Shirley. Okay, let me scoot that stuff out of the way. Okay, so I think I mentioned at the beginning of Facebook Live, I've got an extra special deal for December. Okay, so this is all the stuff you get for free with an online order through me using the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit, right? Okay, so you get your name in the drawing to win. This is my favorite, I love. So the sending to your stamp set that you can see that we used on the make and takes for our Inkspired Stampers team meeting this month. So your name goes in the drawing to win the sending to your stamp set. You're gonna get the cards I demonstrate in just a little bit. You also get to pick from the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, plus it gets even better. In December, I'm gonna give you a random pack of five additional handmade cards and a random pack of six by six designer series paper. So that is so much free stuff, right? Pack a designer series paper, random, random pack. Five free cards, the two cards that I demonstrate, the PDF tutorial or the embellishment, and your name goes in the drawing to win the sending to your stamp set. All in December, 
all month long. You'll get all of those things. Obviously, this will change as we um, get to the next Facebook Live two weeks from today. I'll have a new giveaway then. But So lots and lots and lots and lots of good stuff as a thank you. Kind of a great way to end the year, end 2023. Can't even believe that it's coming to an end. Oh my goodness, we only have, what, 31 more days, right? And then we're on to 2024. I feel like I've barely gotten used to writing 2023 on things, right? Where, how do the years go so fast, right, ladies? Oh my goodness. Okay, <clears throat> I think, let's see. Trying to make sure, yeah, okay. I think we talked about everything. Okay, we're gonna move, let's see. What are we gonna do? Oh, I have more stuff to show you. Well, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna flip the camera down so I can show you more fun stuff that'll be easier to see with the camera down than this way, right? Okay, so turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. I'm gonna get us set up here. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera down. Okay, good, there we go. Got one little thing, the corner showing there. Okay, let me find, we've got our host code. I'll give you that. So this is our new host code for December. The PC2TNMWE is the code that you'll want to use when you go to stampinup.com and order. That'll get you all those freebies that I just mentioned. And we'll talk about it again at the end of the video too, in case you missed it. Okay, so um, let's see. I want to show you guys some scrapbook pages. Let's see, which ones am I going to show you first? Yeah, okay, let's see. So, well, okay, love these, but only if you already have this designer series paper. This is the Oh Holy Night, right? Oh Holy Night designer series paper. Here is my two-page spread. Let me scoop that up there a little bit more. Can you guys see? So we made these at class this month. It's just beautiful, right? So hopefully you guys got this paper. It is um, all, oh my gosh, I'm getting a funny text protect the scissors. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about. Okay. I'm going to have to see that later. Yes. Um, okay. So yes, the Oh Holy Night designer series paper, like I said, it's already sold out, but I wanted to show you guys. I just think these pages are so beautiful. I love this sentiment too. The stars are shining, are brightly shining. So you can still get the stamp set, right? It's just the designer series paper that has been sold out, but those are beautiful, right? So we made those this week at scrapbook class. And then I'm going to show you this other two page spread. So we always make three pages. We made actually the two that I just showed you and then this page. And then next month we'll make the second half, the coordinating second half page and two more pages. So three pages every month. But this is just that paper, that fa la 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 la, right? Love that. And then here is the other one with a little deck the halls. Love the little berries, right? So beautiful. Love making simple scrapbook pages for you guys. Um, that was, what was that? The Mary Bold and Bright Designer Series paper that is still, it was one of my favorites when the holiday catalog first came out and it's still one of my favorites. Okay, so that's funny because that text that just came through about protecting the scissors, there's a picture too, I really wish I could see it, is <laughs> from a friend of mine, Jennifer Bradley, who hosted our most recent craft Orama. We did it a few weeks ago, it's been a little bit now, but and I've been meaning to show you guys all of the cute projects. So my friends, Stacy and Jennifer and Melissa are super duper crafty. So this is a little project that Stacy made for us. They work on these cute little treats. So this is that um, snowflake tag topper die that I never even actually got, but it's very, very cute, right? So I'm just gonna kind of show you these little boxes. This is a cute, simple little box that's so thankful for you. Melissa, my friend Melissa Roberts and fellow demonstrator um, made this cute little box and she put some really fun socks in there too so it's a perfect size box I'll show you there's nothing in it right now I was like what was in here but yeah it was um, a little a cute little pair of socks that she put in that box and then let's see oh this is a fun one too um, Jennifer oops I pulled ribbon off of somewhere it looks like she made this little box I have to see what's inside 
Um, oh, I think it's so it's a perfect size for um, a Bath and Body Works lotion, right? Love this little, and I there's something about the pink truck too. I think that is so cute with the little special delivery and a little tree in the back there also. So stinking cute, huh? I love that paper too. So, and I wouldn't have thought to put, so Flirty Flamingo, I wouldn't have thought to put that with the red and green. I would have probably gone more traditional, either the red, you know, Cherry Cobbler or Garden Green, but I love how that turned out. And I love the, the super cute little pink truck too, right? Then let's see. Oh, this is another one that Miss Stacy made. So we've got the Noel dies there. You know what I think is so funny is this N is upside down. I've seen that happen so many times. I don't know if it's how it comes out of the um, <clears throat> the die or what, but it's funny how many people put that in upside down. I didn't ever say anything to her. What's she got in here? Oh, ooh, oh, some little yummy Chex Mix treat bars. Ooh, those, mm, those sound really good right about now. I'm gonna have to check those out. So yeah, I kind of forgot about this, all this stash of goodies. Um, <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to have a snack or two later. This is so cute, isn't it? So I'm trying to think of what do you call this box? Um, I don't know. There's a name for it. You guys can probably tell me, right? But we've got the little warm wishes, some of that iridescent white ribbon, the little polar bear there, right? Uh, so cute, right? She did. I'm trying to remember what she said. She's got something. What did she put in here? If we can get it out. Well, it might be like a face. Oh, I think I have to yeah, there's something in there. You guys can kind of see, right? It's not going to come out easily. So we're, we're not going to worry about what's in there. But really, it's more about the packaging anyway, right? So cute. Cracker Jack box, maybe? Is that the name of it? Oh, and then here's another. I think Jennifer made this one also. Either that or Stacy did, but I think maybe it was Jennifer because she was telling us how much she loved this designer series paper, that All About Autumn, that is sold out, unfortunately. And I think there's another. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. I love. So Room Spray Fresh Balsam makes it smell like your Christmas, like a Christmas tree, right, in your house. So especially if you don't buy a, a real fresh live tree, great way to spray this on your um, your your, um, art, I was going to say fake, your artificial tree, and it will smell lovely. Cute little, it's like a triang triangular shaped box. You can kind of see it there, right? I don't have dimensions for any of these things, so sorry, guys. Um, I'm just kind of teasing you with these cute little projects. Melissa made this as like a cute teeny weeny little bag, right? And there's a little bar of soap in there, I think. I think that's what it is. And that one, right? And then, oh, another cute little fall treat. Stacy made this one too. I think there's um, a Reese's um, peanut butter pumpkin in there. That might that might not last the, till the end of the day, now that I'm thinking about it, now that I remember that's in there, right? <laughs> but the cute little pick of the patch stamp set, some pretty gold ribbon, right? And then we are famous for our Nutty Buddies. When we do this craft orama, we have to have Nutty Buddies. So this was a cute little gift box that, again, Jennifer made. And it's the perfect size for two, um, like the little the double package of Nutty Buddies, right? With the little ho-ho-ho, so cute, the little Santa Claus. And then lastly, Jennifer, she was going crazy. She's got so many um, cute little ideas that she makes. So this is a cute little, and it says Merry and Bright right there, if you can see that with the little banner kind of thing. And she loves, and now we do too. So these are um, the Capri Blue. Um, you can't smell it. I wish you guys could smell it. But this, oops, she loves to burn these candles too. So this Capri Blue. Yeah. Ooh, it's like very kind of fresh and fruity smelling. Um, but this is kind of like a Christmas version of it, right? Um, it's not the scent isn't. It's still the same scent, this Capri Blue Volcano. Um, but it's kind of got like the wrapper, right? Like it's a Christmas version. So, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to pull that out too. So lots and lots of cute projects. I just had to share those with you guys. And I love getting these ideas from the girls because then a lot of times these end up being ideas for me for um, our club member treats too. So thank you, Melissa, Jennifer, and Stacy for your super cute treat ideas as always. All right, are we ready to do our stamping yet? Yes, okay, I'm like looking at my list. Yes, we are ready to do our stamping. Okay, so here we go. I got my little grid paper here. Let's see, let me make sure. Pull that host code back out later. I gotta make sure you guys can see, right? Okay, so we're in view there. There we go. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so first project. I've got my glasses on here so I can <laughs> hopefully figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so here's my little rhinoceros, right? He's so cute. And he's got the little packages and the birdies are catching a little ride on the packages. And he's carrying his little wreath in his mouth, basically. Uh, so, so cute, right? And did I do, I did a little something fun on the inside too. I'd kind of been like wanting to decorate the inside of the cards more. So we've got that little happy Christmas wishes and more little birdies right there also. Okay, so let me kind of get a few things out and I'll tell you about what we've got going here. <clears throat> okay. Choo -choo -choo. Put that one right there. Okay, so our projects, here we go. So we started with a piece of real red cardstock, okay? Eight and a half by 11, okay? So along... The 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, all right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches right there, okay? So as always, makes our nice crisp fold. That's how we're gonna be working this card today, okay? Then we have, this goes on the inside. This is a piece of crumb cake cardstock that measures five and a quarter by four inches, okay? That's gonna go right there. Basic white cardstock for the outside of our card that measures five by three and three quarters. So that's gonna go right there. Then a piece of, this is the Oh Holy Night Designer Series paper. Um, I think any neutral patterned paper would work great. So if you don't have the Oh Holy Night, anything that has just kind of that neutral, this is either pecan pie or crumb cake um, kind of look to it works really well. This piece measures four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. So that's just like an eighth of an inch. So the, the white just kind of peeks up from behind it. I will mention too that all of the names of the products, the item codes in case you would like to order anything, the colors, dimensions, all of that will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? Um, so if you miss anything right now, you'll be able to pick up those details. Again, gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? All right, so then I just have a couple of pieces of basic white cardstock for our stamping there and there, okay? So let's see, we'll just kind of scoot these things back over here. So we are gonna first do our stamping with the cute little rhino. Now, because the stamp is so big, almost bigger than my ink pad, right? I love to kind of ink it, my stamp on its back essentially. So I just lay this down. And this is the black memento ink. So this is not one of our firm foam ink pads that Stampin' Up! makes. It's more of a linen ink pad. It's much sturdier, so you can almost hear me pounding. I would never pound like that with one of our regular ink pads. Um, but with that black memento, sometimes it's necessary to make sure I get enough ink everywhere. So just keep that in mind, right? Because even that didn't come out too super dark, right? But that's the basic idea. So cute though, right? Like the little birdies. So, so, so cute, right? And then we're going to stamp on the inside our happy Christmas wishes. I've just got a little, this is like a one inch strip. I always have a million of these laying around. Um, so we're going to use real red ink. So here we go with our firm foam ink pad. I'm just doing a nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm gonna press straight down. Sometimes I will kind of use my finger to make sure I get all the ink off. That is upside down, but it doesn't matter because now it's right side up, right? Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. Um, oh, and then the little birdies. We're gonna do those in a sec. I'm gonna do those after I do this die cutting, right? Okay, so let's just scoot these things out of the way here. Okay, so let's do our die cutting. Let me grab my die cutting machine. Oops. <laughs> All right, just because I get kind of a kick out of this, I have to show you guys. So this is what my cutting pad, can you even see? It's so cracked. So it, it bowed and then eventually it stopped bowing because it cracked. Um, but what's happening now is it's almost not working quite as well. It's like it's almost too thin or where the cracks are or something. Sometimes things don't cut quite as well. So this is the like scary one that only I use that you guys aren't supposed to see. 
Um, so I'm like, I don't know, showing, telling you all my secrets <laughs> today. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is a better one. Although it's funny how they start to look like well loved pretty quickly, don't they? Okay, so we are going to use, these are, oops, the Scalloped Contours dies. Still one of my favorite dies, sets of dies. I love, I'm just trying to put that back in there. I love that little scallop edge, right? But we're going to use this die. So the third largest or third smallest scalloped rectangle die. And then also these are called the Labels Aglow dies. And we're going to use this long label guy right here. And it's got those three little dots on each side there too. So we're going to use that on there. Okay, so glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. It's amazing what the readers do for you. Okay, there we go. I think we've got everything lined up. I'm going to crank this through here. And let's see what we've got. Okay, so love so cute right the little stitching so 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 cute okay and then check this one out too let's just pop that open so i'm gonna grab my little paper piercing tool because those little dots if i would have gone back and forth a time or two they probably would have popped out um, but those are supposed to although i kind of like maybe with the little dots in there too maybe i'll leave them i don't know yeah either way right so you, i'm just talking about those three little dots there they're stitching around the top and the bottom too so cute either way i would say all right, we're gonna get these dies out of the way and kind of put our card together here. All right, we don't need that anymore, right? <clears throat> so are you guys ready for winter? Is that happening where you are? <laughs> There's like a nice light dusting of snow, so that's good. It's not too over the top. I am traveling down to Detroit a couple hours south today, so I'm definitely <laughs> hoping for not too much snow. There's construction too, which is always, you know, kind of adds to the fun of the drive. It'll probably be years before that's done too, <laughs> I feel like. Okay, so we're going to, this is for the inside of our card. So you guys noticed I use my little silicone mat. Love to do that. Um because then I don't get adhesive all over my grid paper. Now I'm gonna pull my black Memento ink pad back in because I want to stamp my little birdies. So I'm gonna do one there, and I'm gonna do one there. Oops, that one didn't go quite as dark as I wanted it. So you know what we're gonna do, okay, because I haven't adhered anything. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna call this the correct side now. We're gonna try that one more time. So we got one birdie. And what, there we go. I learned my lesson. Just press a little bit harder with that black ink. Okay. Let's actually clean these guys off. I'm going to get them out of the way so I don't get any ink on any of my stuff. Love my chamois. Let's see, does it still, yeah, it still smells good too. You guys remember I put it through my dishwasher. It's been a couple weeks now, um, but it still smells fresh, which I like, right? Fresh chamois are all good. Okay, so we're going to get these guys out of the way. Now, um, let's see. Let's do the coloring. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm trying to find. That's my light. That's my dark. Okay, so I have my Stampin' Blends here. Um, I want to color let's see what did i color right so the little on the inside i did the little scarf and the little hat now you can see like that is super tiny right um so when you do this don't press too hard you want to be super kind of uh light touch with your coloring because it's there's just not much room for error i guess i would say right and it's almost impossible for me to do this well, I'm going to say, 
on a Facebook Live because my head needs to be right down, like right where this camera is, right where the mount is. That's where my head needs to be to really feel like I've done a good job. So that's why I'm not gonna do lots of coloring. I'm gonna explain. Ooh, look though, I will tell you, see how the blends bleed through the back? Make sure you have some kind of a work surface so that when they bleed through, they don't get onto something that you you know, that might be ruined otherwise, right? Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna flip uh, back to the, there we go, actually put the scissors, there we go. Keep that down right there, right? Okay, so now this was our um, Oh Holy Night Designer Series paper. We're gonna add this piece and we want just a little bit of white edge to show. Okay, that looks good. And we're gonna add some more, run it and tip it back. It's my mantra with this stamp and seal. Run it and tip it back, run it and tip it back. There we go, right? So this is my first stamped image, right? With my Black Memento ink. After I spend some time coloring, I will tell you, so I use, these are Smoky Slate. I used um, the light Smoky Slate marker. I kind of just went all around. Oops, I didn't actually do that part. I guess I'm gonna have to do that right now for you, right? So then I used my real red dark marker to kind of give that cute little um, red and white um, scarf, right? And then I used, this is moss, nope, old olive. It almost looks like mossy meadow, but I used my old olive marker on the plants and then the presents, <laughs> the plants, presents, you know. And then I used my real red marker on the bow, on the presents and on the little birdies there too. So, okay, we are going to attempt, there must be, I must have gotten some adhesive. I try not to do that because every time I'm picking up something, the whole grid paper is moving and that is why. So now are we in view again? Okay, so here we go. All right, wish me luck, ladies. I'm gonna attempt to color. I don't know, maybe my head gets in the way here, but I have to be right down in here. So again, I'm just using a really light hand. Um, and I will admit I'm not the greatest like colorer. So actually that's his hand too, isn't it? In terms of blending. Plus, um, honestly, let's color his hand or his arm. I guess it is. It's his arm holding. There we go. So we got that one right there. I don't think I colored this one either. So we're gonna have to do this one too. It's like this little bit of white space that I need to color in there. There we go. Okay. So smoky slate, old olive, real red. We're gonna end with real red. We are going to very carefully color this bow. And like I said, I'm kind of just dusting almost. It's probably hard to tell on here, but I'm not yeah, dusting is the best word I can use. Just not pressing firmly at all as I'm coloring that, right? Okay, so there we go. Put that one back over there. I think I need it for the next card, right? Okay, so now we need some dimensionals. We're going to put a few dimensionals on the back of this little guy, right? I always press them down because then I think it's easier to pull the backs off of the dimensionals, okay? So we're gonna pop in right there, right? And then lastly, we are going to add, and I believe these are already sold out too, but hopefully you got them, the adhesive backed speckled dots. We're gonna add a couple of the kind of crumb cake colored dots. If not, we have other, there's another um, kind of a neutrals set of, um, dots that you could use that have a crumb cake color in them as well so that would be another option but there we go there's our first card right in carla will say she reminded me last night we played bingo and she i only put two dots on something she said isn't it a rule that you have to do it in threes <laughs> and i was like who says she said well all the ladies online say or on the internet i'm like well there it is carla right if it's on the internet it's got to be true right so that was like her little joke last night but so carla here are your three dots on this card okay when you watch later yeah, silliness. Okay, 
All right, I think that's it, right? So we've got card number one done, the cute little rhino, right, with our happy Christmas wishes and little birdies on the inside too, right? Okay, now let me show you guys our next project. Okay, <clears throat> another fun one with some fun coloring too. I will tell you guys again the colors that I used on here. We'll kind of walk through this one also, the cute little giraffe um, decorating his Christmas tree, right? And then we've got this, may your season be one that's festive and fun. Cute little sentiment on the inside there, okay? All right, so what do we have going here? Look at these. I'll show you guys all of those markers too that we used. Okay, first of all, we're gonna talk about sizes of things, okay? All right, so this is Parakeet Party cardstock right here, okay? So we have, this is a tall card, so this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. Right, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So that's our tall, it's gonna open like that kind of a card, right? Okay, then next we have a piece of a real red cardstock. This one measures three and three quarters by five. That's gonna go right there. And then our Merry Bold and Bright Designer Series paper, still one of my favorites, three and a half by four and three quarters. That's gonna layer there. And we have a piece of basic white cardstock. My standard layer, four by five and a quarter inches, goes on the inside there. And then we've got another piece of basic white to do our stamping and die cutting there, okay? All right, so we'll keep that and that and that. Just can go right there. So we're gonna do our stamping. Let's do, let's see, where's my, I guess I use the same, I use the same ink pads on both which is kind of unusual, although I guess not, because we generally always use the black Memento, this black Memento ink with your Stampin' Blends markers, because these are alcohol-based markers, so you need to use this Memento ink so that it doesn't smudge or smear when you do your coloring with your blends, okay? All right, so again, I'm gonna put that stamp kind of on its back, because it's a big one, and I'm pressing pretty firmly. I'm gonna kind of take a peek around and make sure I got ink all over. This is, I think, the easier way to ink up these big stamps. When your stamp is about as big or bigger than your ink pad, just flip it on its back, okay? We are gonna stamp, we're gonna press firmly and lift up, woo, all right, I did a good job. That one looks really good. See, he's so cute, right? The little, ger not little, he's a big, big tall giraffe, right? Okay, then. We have our sentiment, and I am gonna try to make sure, yep, I've got May on the top there, right? Press straight down, lift straight up. All right, there we go. May your season be one that's festive and fun, right? So you saw, I didn't press too hard. Nice, easy, tap, 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 press firmly, but I'm not wiggling or rocking. I do tend to put my finger over it to kind of make sure all the ink comes off onto the, onto the um, cardstock though, okay? All right. There we go, all right, let's do, I guess we just have one item to die cut, right? And let's see, did I put, yeah, I'm gonna clean these off real quick too. Okay, so we're gonna clean our sentiment there. And clean this one, there we go, my cute little giraffe. He's all clean, ready to go for the day. Okay, we'll get those out of the way too, all right. So we can do our die cutting here. So this time we are using, where are my dies though? These are the deckled rectangle dies. Did I not, I wonder if I have them out somewhere else. I might have them, they're somewhere else. Huh, okay. Did I put them, probably used them. Did I use them on something? <laughs> Okay, well, they're tucked away. You guys know the deckled rectangle dies, right? Through the magic of I don't know what, we're gonna turn this, we're gonna cut it. So deckled means it's kind of, it's like a ripped edge, right? There are, I don't know, seven or eight different size dies. So you're gonna use the one that just barely fits Mr. Giraffe, right? So you're gonna cut that out with your deckled rectangle dies. And then I'll show you or tell you how I'm 
coloring this in. Sorry about that. I've, I don't know, maybe we used them at bingo last night and I forgot to grab them out, but I'm very happy that I have done this whole thing for you guys. So let me tell you again, I used my real red, my dark real red on his hat and all the little um, ornaments there, okay? Then I, for the giraffe himself, I colored him. This is my daffodil delight, delight in light. I colored all of him in the light. And then I went back through and used the dark daffodil delight on each of the little dots and on the star. So you can see they're just a little bit darker, right? Then I used my dark parakeet party on all of the tree and then the kind of the holder, the bucket for the tree, as well as the little um, holly there, right? Oh, the little berries are in the real red too. You can tell that, right? Then I have crumb cake. I used the light crumb cake marker. Um, actually, nope, on his hoof, 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 <laughs> his little hoof right there and right there. And then the dark crumb cake marker I used on the basket and then the base there for the tree. Hi, Carla, how are you? I was just showing that I used um, three dots on a card and I mentioned your name that you called me out on it last night that we only used two dots on a card and that wasn't right because the internet says you have to use three dots. <laughs> so we got a little chuckle out of that. <laughs> yes, you're fine. Better late than never, right? Um, so I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to tell you guys about. I think that's really basically it, right? So again, just kind of a nice, easy touch as you're doing your coloring. Um, but it was actually, you know, it's that whole like therapeutic and relaxing the coloring is, right? So just make sure you're in the right mindset, ready and wanting to color. And I think it can be lots and lots of fun. And maybe get your readers out too if you can't see very well. Because <laughs> those are always helpful. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so... I think we can go ahead and put our card together here. Uh, where'd my, I'm like, oh yeah, my adhesive is right here. Okay, so let's put this, our sentiment, on the inside of our card. So you can see I'm doing that run it and tip it back, right? Oops, well that is the one that's already made, right? So we need the blank one. So again, parakeet party card base. All the details will be on my blog this afternoon, gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, then we've got our Merry Bold and Bright designer series paper. Run it and tip it back. Run it and tip it back. I'm going to put this one right on there. We're going to add these layers to our card, right? And let's see what else do we have going on then. We're going to put some, uh, well, well, we can put dimensionals on the back of this one too. And again, you see how it kind of bleeds through. So make sure you have something in terms of, you know, to kind of protect your work surface, right? We also are going to use, this is part of a combo ribbon pack, real red and garden green. Obviously this is the real red ribbon. I am going to just run a couple of strips of adhesive. <clears throat> Oops. Got my finger stuck on it. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of loop this. It's the, the loop and tack technique is what I call it. So loop it and tack it. Oh my gosh, snow plows are out. You guys, that's the first time I've heard them this year. And you know what, that is pretty lucky for us. December 1st, we haven't really had any snow till now. But yeah, they're out and running now, okay. All winter long, they're gonna be doing their thing. All right. We're gonna add our cute little giraffe decorating his tree. And then we are gonna add, these are the festive pearls. We're gonna add a couple of these red festive pearls. So I put a couple, so Carla, I'm back to my two here. It's all I needed though. But then I decided, oops, where did it go? Right there, scoot him. Maybe right about there. Just press firmly and those will stay. But I thought, oh, I want to have a little bit more fun. So I'm going to add a couple more red dots to my tree just to give kind of a little bit of texture dimension on my tree also. So there is our second one, right, with our little real red or cherry cobbler maybe. Anyway, they're red, little festive pearls on there too. All right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed these cards. I had so much fun, like I said, coloring with these. You just have to keep saying that, right? Maybe it's only me. I don't know. Got to be in the right mindset to do your coloring. 
Uh, here we go. So if you are interested in ordering any of these products or anything else, don't forget that the retiring uh, last chance lists are out. Get those things while you can before they sell out. If you order online through me, spend at least $50. Make sure you use this host code, the PC2TNMWE. You're going to get one of each of these projects as a thank you from me. You're also going to get to pick from the free embellishment for December, which is the Blooming Pearls, a full package, I promise, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win the Sending Cheer stamp set. And then in December only, you are going to get a random package of five free additional cards, as well as a random package of six by six designer series paper as a thank you. So, so many goodies, cards, Facebook live drawing, embellishment or PDF tutorial, more cards, six by six uh, demo or uh, excuse me, DSP pack. So many good things as a thank you from me. I truly appreciate your orders. Just make sure you use that host code right there. All right. I hope you guys had a really happy Thanksgiving um, with family and friends. And hopefully December is off to a good start. First day of December for you. And we will see you guys right back here two weeks from today on December 15th. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye.